So here is my case uh, to um, provide evidence that I believe is overwhelming that uh, inside jobs are impossible for humans. It's beyond the competency of human beings. And therefore, uh, if we want to get to find out who the real enemy is, we have to look at extraterrestrials because it, it's not uh, lim our, our enemy is beyond has capabilities beyond that of the of the human race uh, so here we go and uh, this can basically uh, be summarized in a few categories uh, number one uh, the time span involved um, Inside jobs go back at least as far as the JFK assassination of 1963. So already uh, we're spanning, uh, closing in now on uh, 60 years, two generations. Uh, we're, we're going beyond generations. So how do they keep a secret for this long? How do they keep the evidence locked up uh, for this long? Uh, number two, uh, international scope. Um, if you're not aware of it, the uh, Chechen attacks in Russia, so-called Chechen attacks, that catapulted uh, Vladimir Putin to power in 1999 uh, were an inside job. It was documented by the uh, free press encouraged by the florist under Boris Yeltsin. Uh, they posted two YouTube's proving it was an inside job. In fact, it was done by the KGB, arguably by Vladimir Putin, to get himself elected. He, there were other candidates who were going to win, but then security became an issue uh, courtesy of the KGB. They did it, blamed it on the Chechens, and said, don't you see, you need Vladimir Putin to protect you, when in fact he probably is the one who did it. Um, now, and the reason that's important is it takes it beyond the scope of the usual suspects. There's people like Alex Jones or a lot of uh, conspiracy theorists, conspiracy, conspiracy realists who want to say, you know, this is the uh, Bilderberg group. Those are all Western people. This is the Illuminati. Those families are all in the West. They're not in Russia. Um, so that kills those theories. Uh, especially when you consider that China uh, is also probably engaged in inside jobs, namely including, or specifically, uh, the Tiananmen Square uh, car bombing supposedly done by Uyghur Muslim separatists from far west China in 2013. The circumstances there were that um, I haven't seen a documentary on this, but it's been fairly well reported by China Uncensored on YouTube that um, a, a man, his wife, and daughter did a suicide car bombing on Tiananmen Square, supposedly now, reportedly, uh, in 2013, where they drove a car into Tiananmen Square loaded with um, gasoline and, you know, you know, containers of gasoline blew it up or burned it up. Uh, now, here comes the funny part. It's really, let's see if you laugh about this. Uh, the Chinese authorities discovered to uh, everyone's astonishment that there was a brand new unburnt Uyghur flag in the back seat that survived the, the blaze, right? So th this was, uh, let's just say 12 uh, cans, gallon cans of gasoline that were all Went, went on fire, right, and burned the whole car and its occupants, you know, basically to, to ashes. But somehow, miraculously, there was a flag that was came, survived the burnout in the back seat, a Uyghur flag. And that was uh, the proof that it was done by the Uyghurs. Inside job, China, beyond uh, the Illuminati. There's no members of China in the Illuminati. There's no members of China in the Bilderberg Group. Um, uh, 
evidence item number uh, three, I've, I've talked about the time span, I've talked about uh, the international scope. I want to talk, if you'll allow me, about uh, the number of inside jobs and where could they be planned? Where's the office? Where's the headquarters? In order, to, think about 9-11, uh, for instance. Where, where did they plan all of this? Where's their headquarters? Uh, and there's no allegation made about this, right? So are these truthers, really truthers? And they're, they're not even speculating where's the office, where the headquarters? I mean, I'm gonna speculate for you, and this is coming from me, not from any truth report I've seen. Maybe uh, Israel, because that's a common suspect among truthers. Uh, maybe the CIA, but that's actually not that big a building. Um, and uh, you have the truthers who are not even giving us. I came up with those locations possibly myself, right? Why aren't truthers saying this is where all of these things are being planned? Now, when you consider the following, you'll know why I'm bringing this up. Um, most truthers, including me, uh, believe that uh, these mass shootings are inside jobs. By the way, I want to clarify, in my opinion, actually, they're extraterrestrial in origin. The extraterrestrials manipulate us and manipulate uh, uh, patriotic people in the government into doing things that they would never knowingly or willingly do. Uh, that's how they're so good at it. So I'm not actually accusing the government here. Uh, I, I firmly believe, but that's, I'm trying to make the case, but I just don't want people to get mad at me for because I'm putting out something that I don't... When I say inside jobs, uh, I, I mean uh, engineered by extraterrestrial. Anyway, so moving on, I, I, I don't also want to reach a conclusion until and unless I make the case. It's up to you to decide. Um, I just don't want to get uh, people in law enforcement angry with me when, when I've long ago abandoned any idea that law enforcement is really doing this. They're tricked into do, cooperating or playing a role, but it's all, uh, that's, that's how the extraterrestrials are, are magicians. They're incredibly good at this. And, and here again, we get back to the need for officers. So if we go back to the mass shootings, um, these, each one, there's how many, if, can you uh, try to count the number of mass shootings you can remember in the last few years? Uh, I can't count them. I, th I, I mean, I couldn't, I would have to say there's certainly over 50. Um, if you think for a moment, you know, Boston Marathon is alleged to be uh, an inside job. I think of the planning that had to go into that. Now, where's our officers of court? But, but so the thing is, but but if you even if you start looking at the mass shootings, Las Vegas, uh, Texas, oh my God, there's so many of them, uh, and um, you've got a trick. Well, anyway, so so where's the offices, right? There's because each one takes enormous planning. Uh, you don't just pull this out of thin air, right? You have to have offices, computers, staff. Where are they? Are they the Pentagon? Are they, you know? And, and why isn't, why aren't truthers saying, oh yeah, by the way, we want to know where, the, you know, this is all being organized and they don't go there? What, what's happening with that? Um, uh, so then uh, um, there's, there's other items here and um, um, I'm trying to remember. The, all right, so you, you have the question of the span of time. Uh, another item, of course, is the cover-up with that span of time. How is it that it's all managed to be kept secret? Because most conspiracies, police have a saying, uh, any conspiracy is only good as, as good as its weakest link. So when, when there's a conspiracy to commit a crime, they go to work on the person they think is most likely to sing. I hate to say this, but having worked once with law enforcement, they, they go they go for the women, right? And the women usually do, and the men forgive them because they love them. So, uh, but then the woman rats out the men, and the men go down. That's, that's but so why is it that this conspiracy, all of these conspiracies, have not leaked out, right? Well, they say we have the media. 
Well, there's another aspect of it. Who is organizing all of this? And out of what office and what headquarters? Um, so uh, it just becomes so enormous that um, it seems to me, and I submit to you, that it's literally impossible for human beings to be this organized, spanning generations, spanning all continents in the world, beyond the reach of the Illuminati, beyond the reach of the Bilderberg Group, beyond the reach of the New, New World Order, right? They say, oh, it's a New World Order. Yeah, well, what about what's going on in Russia and China with their inside jobs? Um, and uh, I mean, I can go into another video on the evidence for extraterrestrials, and there's so much of it, but uh, I think YouTube maximum normal video length is 15 minutes. Certainly that's true on Instagram. Uh, but these are questions that I have for anyone who's kind enough to listen to this. It's a long video here, 11 minutes. I'll wrap it up. How do you answer these questions? How, how do you explain that, that human, the human race is capable of this kind of organization, international in scope, throughout the world, beyond the reach of the Bilderbergs and the Illuminati, uh, multi-generational, cover-ups that are successful and no headquarters that for all of these mass shootings you can't even count how many there's 50 and where's the staff where are the computers <laughs>